Okay, I've discussed this drive pulley many times on the JF011E uh, CVT. And what you've heard me to talk about were eliminating the balls and using the pins. Uh, I have one uh, on the other table where the balls broke. This is the replacement. There's something that I used to do uh, and that I told you, so I'm looking at this as kind of like an update. And that was, I used to put the pins here. And then I would weld here and weld here to stop them from moving. Um, or I would measure the pin and the, the length of the pin would be the same length of two balls together. And you put one of those in. If you put the shorter ones in, shorter pin being the same length as two balls together, then you would have to use this clip here to stop it from falling out. Okay. But I, I don't use the short ones anymore. Neither do I weld anymore. What you can do, and I've tried it and it worked, you can take a pin and you put it in, but you have to leave this retainer here. This this retainer here, you have to leave that one in. Okay, because it has to have something for it to stop so it don't come down at the bottom fall out. And then when you get the pin, this pin here, make sure that that pin is just a little under flush with this ridge. Okay? If you make it a little a little shorter by mistake, there's no problem. <clears throat> no problem like what I did. <laughs> but you don't want it to be above that ridge. Here's the reason. When you put this plate here, which is piston rather, on top, like that, it will keep this in. Here's one where I shave down. So you put that here, that part will rest on that retaining ring here. When you go to put this in, you can see that it's going to stop it. See, see that pin? I don't know if you can see it, but uh, okay, there's the, here's the pin here. So this can't get out because it will be stopped by this when you put the bolt on there. So it can't fall. It would just go from move up and down. And if you don't have as much slack as I have, it won't move at all. Okay. Now, when using the longer pins, though, you must take this one out. You have to take it out, or when this goes to move up and down, the longer pin will stop it from moving. The smaller pins only allow it to go down a certain uh, a certain uh, inches, certain way down. Okay. Okay. So you put this here. Okay. If you see right here where this 
notch is if that pin is right there it will only go this far they will stop it and you have too much slack here you cannot go far enough down far enough down to compress the belt so that's why this will have to be eliminated let me take this out right now this one has to come out so now let's look at this if I put this on you can see See how far this went down. You can see the notches there. How far it went down. If this if this was here inside, it would only go this far down, which means it would keep it up. And that's it. You'll be in trouble. So then what you do. Stick a pin inside here. I didn't get it in. Hmm. I didn't get it in, but you put the pin inside. Let me see if I can get on this side. So, you keep the pin here. You stick it in and then let it go down. Up and down. Again, when you put this top on, the inside of here will keep this from coming out. Once you put it on and you put the nut, the bearing and the nut on, it can't come out. Now, there's something you will have to do with these pins. As you can see, this is kind of tight. You will probably have to take these pins and put them in a drill. Take some sandpaper and run it in the sandpaper. It can be um, uh, 80, 120, maybe not 60, but 80, and then turn it over in the drill and sand it down again. That's so that you can take some of this coating off and that it will slide up and down smoothly. So right now this is kind of tight. Probably because I was holding it when I put it in a grinder to cut this down. So put it in the drill sand it down. I will do that and show you how easy it will come up and down because it has to be as easy as the balls that went in there. It has to go up and down just like this. Very easy. And then I'll tell you something else that you have to look out for.